Fireball came out of absolutely nowhere, and then it became something that was behind every bar. I had never heard of it, and within a month, I didn't know a person that didn't drink it. It was that quick. I remember a vendor coming in, wanting to put it on the bar. We put it on the bar, and there's this explosion. It's a very, very smooth, easy shot. I think it works for women because it's on the sweeter side. For guys, it still qualifies as a whiskey. The crowd pleaser, a shot for everyone. Fireball whiskey is very syrupy, very high in sugar. You take a shot, and the first thing you get is um, you get a little bit of heat. And then the sweetness happens, and on the back end, it kind of tastes like you have big red gum in your mouth. I do remember the first time I tasted it. I'm going, it's not that bad. You can tell someone's taking their first shot of this stuff. Like... It's one of those liquors that you don't see in your face. You don't see the ads, some of the other major brands put in front of us. We're not opening a magazine and seeing it. We're not seeing it on every billboard. It's really the only place I have ever seen a Fireball ad is on Facebook. Almost everyone walking the planet, it seems, has a Facebook account at this point. And so they're hitting more people quickly and most likely cheaper than they would with any of those large marketing campaigns. Every couple of years, something else comes along, and I don't think that necessarily Fireball will have that longevity, but it's possible. Fireball doesn't pretend to be the next great whiskey in American culture. I think for the purpose Fireball serves, it's a pretty fine product. At the end of the day, I want to run a successful bar, and so if it's something that my guests want, if it's something that people enjoy, if it's something that I know is going to sell and move, I have no qualms with it.